Hello, my name is Dr. Arielle Summer. I'm a primary care physician at UCLA, and I'm here to talk to you today about what happens when you're diagnosed with COVID-19. Please note, I'm filming this by myself with only household members present. If you receive a diagnosis of COVID-19, the first thing to do is isolate yourself to prevent spreading the virus to others. Isolation times may differ based on your vaccination status, symptoms, follow-up test results, and medical history. Because these public health guidelines can change, please refer to the CDC and local county web pages for the most up-to-date information or check with your doctor if you're unsure. If you get a positive test but do not have any symptoms, the same isolation requirements still apply. To isolate, pick a space where you can be separate from other people. Try to reduce your time in communal spaces, but if you do need to enter these communal spaces, make sure you're wearing a mask and you wash your hands before entering, and everyone around you should wear a mask as well. You should have somebody bring your food and you should keep all your plates and silverware inside of your isolation space. It is also ideal to keep your laundry separate from everybody else as well. In an ideal situation, you would have a separate bathroom, but if if this is not possible, make sure you wipe down the surfaces after each use. And regardless, everyone in the household and every bathroom should shut the toilet before flushing as COVID-19 can be found in urine and feces and may aerosolize with flushing. To prevent spreading COVID-19 to your household members, everyone should wash their hands very frequently. Your main caretaker should also wipe down surfaces at least two times a day and whenever you come into contact with them. And if you can, you should leave as many windows open as possible. Now this is very important. People in your household may need to test or quarantine based on updated CDC and local guidelines. Following these guidelines helps keep others safe and aims to reduce the spread of the virus. If you are isolating or quarantining, this means no going to work, no going to the grocery store, no going out for errands, and also try and reduce any time outdoors. If you must go outdoors, always wear a mask, even if nobody is around you. Everyone may experience COVID-19 differently. Some people who test positive actually never develop symptoms. We call these people asymptomatic. Even if you are asymptomatic, it is very important that you isolate the same as somebody with symptoms because you are still thought to be infectious. Please follow CDC and local public health guidelines on the length of this isolation. Some people with COVID-19 may experience mild symptoms. These may include a stuffy or runny nose. Some people even describe it like allergies. Some people may have a mild fever, muscle aches, or feel flu-like. Some may lose their sense of taste or smell, and there can be a bad sore throat, headache, or a cough. People with moderate COVID-19 may experience what they describe as the worst flu they have ever had. They may have high fevers, very bad muscle aches, severe fatigue, very, very, very poor appetite. They may experience nausea, diarrhea, they may lose their sense of taste and smell. They may even have chest pain or fear the heart racing, even with minimal activities such as just showering or walking across the room. There is some shortness of breath and a feeling of heaviness or tightness in the chest. The progression of each person's COVID-19 illness may also differ. Some people may experience symptoms for just a few days, some people for the full 14 days, and some people beyond that. Many people will feel better after 14 days. Please note that throughout your experience of COVID-19, you may actually feel better only to feel worse hours later. This is very typical and what we're seeing in a lot of our COVID-19 patients. After recovery from COVID-19 illness, some people may experience flares of their disease. A flare is when the original symptoms of COVID-19 come back after recovery. This may be physical symptoms or mental symptoms. We're learning more and more about these flares of COVID-19 and they've been turned long COVID or post COVID syndrome in the literature. We're not exactly sure how long these will last, but please contact your doctor if you're having these symptom flares. If at any point in your illness, you experience the following symptoms, please call your doctor, or if it feels like an emergency, call 911. These symptoms may include feeling short of breath at rest, new or worsening chest pain, 
new or worsening cough, new rashes, not able to keep food or water down for any reason, any stroke symptoms such as loss of sensation in a particular area of your body, speech disturbances or facial droop, or pain or swelling in your arms or legs. There are many things that you can do to stay as healthy as you can at home. This includes staying well hydrated, including drinking lots of water or coconut water, water with electrolytes, diluted juice water, or anything to keep your hydration up. Many people have really profound lack of appetite. And so it is important if you can to eat what you're able to. Oftentimes fruits are a really good option. Trying to eat vegetables if you can, some proteins, and generally a healthy diet. There may be some over-the-counter medications or prescription medications to manage the symptoms of COVID-19 at home. You should talk to your primary doctor about which ones may be right for you. There are no specific herbs or supplements or vitamins that we generally recommend for everyone. If you would like to take something, please talk to your primary care doctor about it. We recommend doing some light breathing exercises, maybe about 10 times per hour. These include deep breathing in and out, to expand your lungs. While you are not in bed, we recommend getting up and spending as much time sitting up or leaning forward as possible. This takes pressure off the back of the lungs and helps prevent pneumonia from developing in these areas. If it is safe for you, consider sleeping on your stomach or on your side for the same reasons. There are now several FDA authorized medications for certain individuals with COVID-19, as well as investigative clinical trials. The criteria, availability, and efficacy of these treatments are often changing, so please look on our website for the most current information or talk to your primary care doctor. If you're diagnosed with COVID-19, you may also want to monitor your oxygen levels with something called a pulse oximeter. This is a measurement of your oxygen that goes on your finger. If you are going to measure this, measure it at least once per day or whenever you're feeling shortness of breath or any other concerning symptoms. You may have these delivered or call your primary care physician for more instructions. When monitoring your oxygen levels, please note that a level less than 94% is a cause for concern. Please make sure you seek care and guidance in this situation. And if your level is less than 90%, you may need to go to the emergency room. We understand that getting a diagnosis of COVID-19 is incredibly scary. We are here to help you. We created this video to give you some guidance, but it is very important that each individual talks with their primary care physician about the specifics of the illness as it pertains to themselves. Please note that the majority of people with COVID-19 will be okay and can monitor and manage everything at home. If you do not have a primary care physician, please call 310-825-2631 to speak to a customer service representative who can help you.